taking on Rochelle and beating him in the dual meet regular season, but then Rochelle getting revenge, winning here in the semifinals to move on to the championship of air. And all he gets to face now is the second seed, Ryan Lang, who happens to be number one in the nation at 141 pounds, the junior from Northwestern. Yeah, Lang's a strong wrestler. He's very hard to finish on. He's funky and countering. It just a little be tough match for Rochelle. Rochelle's had a tremendous season. Oh, like that was a nice high single effort. There's that slide by possibility though. Rochelle likes to snap that head and move. I'm very familiar with Kyle Rochelle. I've seen him grow up. He's a very skinny, lanky kid. He's not gifted physically, but he's made the most of his career. I, I've seen him mature at my camps year in, year out. He's one of the hardest drillers there. He's really intense. And when he can get his moves, his feet, and gets his leg attacks going like he did early against Minnesota, he can win. But right now he's letting Lang grab a hold of him and slow him down. That's good stuff by Lang. That, Nice position. Attention, please. Michelle doesn't finish. look to be, he looks to be too respectful here. I'd like to see him, for him to win, he would need to move Lang more, take him out of position. Lang is very hard to score on, so you got to move him a lot. Right now, Lang's controlling that tie. He's back on that two on one. That's not good for Wisconsin. Thank you. Ryan Lang missed six weeks with injury this season. Missed the national duels and the first five Big Ten duels, but he's back. Hasn't lost all year, 23 and 0. And again, coming in as the guy that could be certainly a national championship contender. That was a sweet technique by Lang. And it's very poor tactics by Kyle Rochelle because he let his opponent control the two on one for the third time in a row. Look at that nice two on one. He, he went to the underhook, cross ankle pick, finish. Very good stuff. But it all started from that two on one control tie until he changed, drove through him and finished. Michelle gets caught on his heels. We got a little time here as the athletes gather themselves. Maybe a little blood time there for Lang. Look to have a little opening along the forehead, but they're back in position. Lang restarts on top. Michelle crabbing around, trying to hop out of the grass. up though it was almost like Lang was gonna let him go let's we'll see if he can get some height here Rochelle would need to push up with his left hand he's got to raise his left oh, that, that's a painful scramble Rochelle might come out of this I'm telling you Lang is funky though he's good at this position he likes to scramble here so this match right now is going Lang's way because he controlled the ties on his feet and he's created a funk situation here Rochelle actually caused that scramble by diving back under a stalemate call, they'll head back to the center. Here's a look at this weight class, and you see six of the, or four of the top six ranked wrestlers in the nation, all from the Big Ten. Yeah, the Big Ten is packed. This is the toughest conference in wrestling. There's a, a lot of parity, though. I mean, it could go any way. There's a lot of close matches, and th these guys are going to be looking forward to the NCAA championships where there'll be less familiarity with each other. They'll be able to really open up and get after it. At this point in time, these guys have seen each other and scouted each other a lot. It's all the more difficult to score. 15 seconds left to go here in the period, and that opening takedown by Ryan Lang standing up to this point. Not a good period for Kyle Rochelle. He's, he's uh, been losing a lot of riding time here. You see the riding time building up, as you know, at the end of the match, if you have a minute or more riding time than your opponent, you get an extra point. So Lane's working towards that right now. He tangled Rochelle up well in that first period. Well, we talked to Rochelle after his semifinal upset win over Manny Rivera of Minnesota yesterday, and he talked about the first time that they met, Rivera snapped him down a lot, wore him out. So he knew in the rematch, he needed to be the aggressor and try to do that to Rivera. And it worked. It, it did. And that's the way Kyle wrestles best. He came out this first period, stood around too much, and showed Lang too much respect. And Lang controlled that two and one and the underhook. Now he's going to win another scramble. And the, the experienced wrestler, the experience is paying off. 
Lang is a four-time Ohio State champion. He's a legend in Ohio, wrestled for St. Ed's, phenomenal career. Kyle Rochelle grew up in Kentucky at Ryle High School, right across the river from Cincinnati. Kentucky has less than 100 high schools that wrestle. Ohio has about 600. The competition level that Ryan Lang went through growing up in high school is tremendous, and now he's more, he's older, more experienced. For Rochelle to do what he's done as a redshirt freshman at Wisconsin is tremendous. Talking to Barry Davis, the head coach at Wisconsin, he's very pleased with Kyle's progress, and he's excited about his work ethic and thinks he has a bright future. Uh, I, ex I expect him to do a little better with Lang here. Lang's really taking control of this match. He certainly has, and Lang has been very workmanlike throughout this event. Beat Penn State's Brian Heller, 3 0 in the first round, quarterfinals, outlasted Ohio State's Jay Jaggers, 3 1 in the tiebreaker, and then in the semis, he dumped Iowa's Alex Sertzis, 4 1. And Lang here on the edge, and it gives up the escape. So Rochelle finally on the board, still trailing 4 1. Yeah, this weight is packed, think about it. Uh, Lang versus Jaggers in the quarterfinals. Jaggers is an Ohio state champion four times as well. So there's two four time state champions going at it. Not in the finals, not in the semis, but in the quarterfinals. The Big Ten is where all the elite kids in the country often want to be. I mean, there's lots of other opportunities, though. Don't get me wrong, but the most the most teams grouped together is definitely the Big Ten. And that's how they get the 72 qualifiers for the NCAA championships. Got a little injury time. Kyle Rochelle just checking out. May have gotten poked in the eye there, but he's back in the fray here. Uh, final seconds of this second period winding down. Lang 4-1, and it looks like it'll stay that way as we go to the third period. Big choice for Rochelle. They're discussing it. He's talking to his coach. He's going neutral. He's going neutral. Let's see if he opens up. He really has nothing to lose. He's got a good single leg. He's got that nice slide by that you saw that he used against Rivera from, Mi from Minnesota. We'll see what he can break out here. Right now, he's playing it too cautious. There we go. He's got to get his feet moving. Kyle was a state champion at around 119 pounds as late as his senior year. He's really continuing to grow and get taller. It'll be interesting as he fills out if he'll continue to grow and up into the upper weight class. But you can see the clear power disparity. Lang is uh, really thick and powerful. And uh, Rochelle's kind of lanky. Looks like boy against man a little bit in this particular matchup. Uh, they go out of bounds and head back to the center in neutral. And you talked about the dominance here in the Big Ten over the years. And, and this year, 10 of the nation's top 19 teams are here. Nine of the 11 Big Ten schools have qualified at least one wrestler here uh, for the championship round. Oklahoma State, of course, set a Big 12, four straight NCAA championships for Minnesota. And it looks to have a good shot Throwing the Cowboys this year. Yeah, it's going to be a barn burner. That's going to be right here in Michigan again. Michigan's getting spoiled with, with great wrestling. They're really excited. I was talking to Michigan Matt side owner Michael Greenwald earlier. He's really been covering wrestling hard. He's looking forward to covering these events and he's pumping these things. I mean, the state of Michigan's very excited to be able to have the Big Tens and NCAAs back to back. You know, the, the Palace in Detroit will be the host of the NCAA tournament 12, 11 days from now. So it'll be really exciting action. There's that slide by. That's what he beat Ramirez with, but that's too little too late on the edge of the mat there. You know, it wasn't quite there for him in that position. You see how he gets him pressing, but it's the edge of the mat. Lang knows where he is, and he gets his body out and squares up with him real quickly. So Rochelle trying to tiptoe on the edge, keep at least a foot in bounds to make it count, but Lang too far out of bounds and gets the benefit of that call and continues to move his way towards the Big Ten title. Indeed, he's done well. But Rochelle kept himself in the match, didn't get overpowered, but he's, he's just going to have to learn from it and keep working to improve. And hopefully he'll win some matches and do excel in, in Detroit at the NCAA tournament. And on a 
point for riding time for Ryan Lang. It's a 5 one win in a Big Ten championship. The first of three Northwestern wrestlers set to compete for titles. And he's taken the hardware home to Evanston. 5-1, Ryan Lang victorious at 141 pounds.